we take more shit from men and forgive them than yeah, forgive yeah, them our own own ourselves. Do you get? We just tend to let just tend to just throw people away. Exactly, but exactly, people are the exactly. currency of life. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Grace and with me I have. Nengi. Yes, I have Nengi in the studio with me today. And today we're going to be talking about friendship hurts, friendship breakups, um, what to do and what not to do. How to friendship. choose good friends. Yeah. Well. And how to be more intentional about your friendships. Very important. Yeah. So, um, we will be sharing with you guys our different experiences because I feel like everybody has had a fair share. When it comes to having friendship breakups and hurts, because like I said to her, even before we started playing this video, there are a lot of people when you go online, you get to see them say they don't have friends, they can never keep friends. So because of past experiences, because of what they've heard, they are, they are so scared to even trust oh, people. Exactly. So they tend to start categorizing people on the world. Exactly. Yeah. So this is my acquaintance, or this is my colleague, this is, you know, they don't want to have friends. And the truth is, no man is an island. They need to have people like Man was made for community. You can't do life alone. Like guy, you really can't do life alone. I think when you grow older, you realize the importance of exactly friends, friends and family, 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 love, all those things. Yeah. Because people that tend to grow old alone, they tend to suffer it. Yes, actually, you guys become unnecessary. Even the one that's not killing them, will kill them fast. Over to Nengi, she's going to share. I think we need to say how we first met. Yeah, we need to. We need to. We need to let you guys in on this friendship, right? <laughs> the beginning from the yes, genesis. Yes, yes. So I've known Nengi for a while and it all started with me being led to open a group chat. Oh my god. A prayer group chat. So Wait, Kabashi my like sister. No, don't try us. Don't, don't mess me. Woman on fire. Do that. So I opened the group chat and I added a friend of mine that is also Nengi's friend, so she's our mutual friend, yeah. you know. So she reached out to me and was like, Oh, I have this friend I want to actually join. Can I, you know, add her to the group? And I'm like, Fine, that's no problem. So Nengi was a friend that came to the group, and ever since then, our friendship has just been blooming. <laughs> Oh my God, we've been watching it. That was yes. something like that. So we've been watching, we've been intentional, intentional about what friendship. Yeah. And then Nengi attended my wedding we met for the first time. It was fun. I won. Oh my God, I had a wonderful time. God, <laughs> I came for that wedding with the aim of enjoy, 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 enjoy. And that's exactly what it was because I had a lovely time. You enjoy. I ate everything that was that past. She went. I had a nice time. I danced. I won the groom and the bride. I mean, that's a competition. Who goes to the wedding and wins the groom and the bride? I won the. <laughs> it was a very good wedding. It was a peaceful event. Yeah. The friendship happened organically. Like yeah. there was no stress. There was no struggle. There was no fault. There was no trying so hard to make her like me or make me like her. Everything just happened. Like when we talk, it's and very natural. Yeah, very natural. And when we say we go there by vibing or bonding, rather, we are not with each other. I knew what she looked like. Everyone I met, I was like, "You look so different than I envisioned." I was, I was imagine one small petite. I was one that's taller than me. <laughs> It was it was wonderful. Like mm -hmm. I had a lovely time, and it has been an awesome lesson. Chris gives the best advice, guys. The best. Like I'm not joking. Like the very best. Like I, I, I try do. my best. Just do. <laughs> Just I do. Try my best. <laughs> I like the fact that whenever I reach out to Nengi, she always has something to say. You know, and especially business wise, this is a hit. Hey. <laughs> It is loaded with business ideas. Oh, so she's going to tell you how to go about it. She's going I to give you strategies. I that Money has to be made. <laughs> business woman. You know, so the fact that we are giving each other, like, yeah. oh, it's not just one-sided. We're know? pouring into each other. Yes. When I reach out to her, she has something for me. And when she reaches out to me, I have something for her, you know. So that sustains Even if the period we don't have anything for each other, they still we, still, we still talk, we still yeah. bond, we still yeah. build something yeah. on it, like, check on yeah. each other. And one thing I like about our friendship is we know that we have our lives outside each other. So we might not communicate all, as often as Normal, but we try our best to communicate. 
Whenever we get to talk, we catch up, we talk about nobody's guilt tripping anybody at the ah. We understand that ah, you've been busy, I've been busy, and the rest and the rest, and then we keep checking up on each other. There's one thing I understand about friendships you can't have 100, 100, you can have 70, 30, but you can't have 50, 50. Exactly. So it might be a time where your friend will be low, and you have to cover up for the relationship, you have to carry the relationship. You know, when we said this video, we spoke about how friendships. Are like relationships, like yeah. romantic relationships. The same effort, the same intentionality you are pouring into your romantic relationship, you have to you pour yeah. into your friendship. And it's even harder because for romance, the men actually carry the relationship to an extent because and yeah, I love your love covers everything. And do you get it's it's as the word romance to have it. It's very you understand. So you always have to suck for both that okay, for women. For example, I'm I'm upset with her. I want her to pacify me. She wants me to pacify her. But if it's a man, if it, men they don't have an issue with swallowing or just to just ah my baby. So hey, but me, hey, I want to be baby. So you want me to be? I want to be baby. Yeah, so it's like it takes intentionality. It takes love. It takes sisterhood. It takes bonding to know that okay. Even though I'm angry with my friend, I want to speak to her and hear her out and hear what she has to say. And I have to, it's, you just have to communicate, like it's a must. So, uh, right now, Nene is going to share with you guys her experience when it comes to friendship perks. I'm going to let her have the stage because <laughs> it's interesting. Okay. <laughs> I think I want to share one particular story. So, I think this is like the longest friendship what I've had like so now it's different I think yeah mm -hmm. still does because I really love this girl so much I love her with all of my and heart and because so much you have yeah. all romantic relationships yeah. Yeah. Right. because you share a lot of yourself oh, you share a lot of secrets oh. and you want to tell your partner to this person I don't know why when when your friend hurts you it's forgive please to this time forgive, forgive. If your fellow girl hurts you, because ah, in this life, you need people. Apostle Simon will say something. He says, if God wants to bless you, he will need a man. Mm -hmm. If he says, oh, then Grace, go and give so 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 person something, and Grace says no, you will not be blessed. Your prayer will be answered in heaven, but here on earth, there will not be manifestation until Grace agrees or God places it in the heart of another person. So, you need people. You can't go around making enemies with everybody because of what someone is saying that happened. Mm -hmm. So, I'm just going to say, well, she said it's my fault. I'm assisting her. What is my fault? My fault. <laughs> but that period, I think I was in the world then, so, and I really did like this girl. Oh my god, I think everybody, everybody around me knows that this girl was. Mm. She was. Yeah, this kind of person, like, was sweet, sweet, like, you just. Ah, she, she was, was everything. Mm. I was in a relationship with someone, that person used to suspect that I had something to do with this mm. girl. But, nah, and I don't have a child of God, I don't think that way. But I really liked this girl. I liked her because she was a genuine person. Mm. She had the heart of love and she was kind. Mm. She is kind. She's still kind. So I think what happened was we had a misunderstanding, miscommunication. So I was doing something to her that was getting to her and she didn't say anything about it. She just kept quiet. She just kept quiet until... Absorbing. I was absorbing it, absorbing it, absorbing it until she couldn't take it anymore. So more like she was tolerating me for a while. Mm -hmm. So when it had choked her like this, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. she just lashed out. And as she lashed out like that, it was end of the friendship. Please, I beg. Ah, I beg again. I say I'm sorry. And no. you guys probably never had. Yes, issues. we never had issues. You get. So and I think one of the issues was overlooking a lot of things. Yes. Do you get not speaking out. So I would apologize to her. She said, Oh, I made her feel this like, type of way. My son said, Okay, no problem, I won't do it again. But she's like, nah, I don't think I don't think I want to do this relationship with you yeah. anymore. And that was how she broke up. Ah, she broke up with me. It was hard though. This girl blocked me everywhere. Instagram, Snapchat, WhatsApp, mobile phone, <laughs> text message. <laughs> Like just say let me just text her. She tell me if I want to reach out, I'll call her brother. Mm -hmm. That's the I'll call her brother. I'm like ah, that's your sister. Maybe like she's fine. She's like I think she had like a major milestone in her life this period. Mm -hmm. But because I've been there with her in the beginning, I sent her a message. Like I know we don't talk anymore, but I'm happy that you're doing this. I'm so happy for you. And she responded. This was weird. She will not. She does not respond to my message. So I can text her. Happy birthday. <gasps> She don't talk to me like that. So I think for me there, I learned a lot of lessons from that relationship. It was more like 
in as much as I loved her so much, they were part of my actions that were hurting her, and I did not even know that they were hurting her. And because she wasn't communicating with me, there was no feedback. So I didn't know, even till now, I don't know what the problem is. Though. I don't know exactly what we're because I think I didn't have like it. I had I was saying had because sorry for cut short. But I think I also had like a similar case when it comes to not knowing what you did for me. I feel like that's toxic. No, let me not lie. Let me just be honest, yeah. I feel like let's use romantic relationships. If the person you're with is always absorbing, absorbing, absorbing and never fighting with you, um, you guys never have issues and uh, everything is just going smooth, all well and good. And all of a sudden, probably the person cannot take it anymore and the person now poof, explodes. You know what they call sweeping your problems under the carpet? carpet. It's not solving them. Not like that is toxic. That yeah. is not good. So I feel like in as much as you feel like you are wrong for you know maybe the things you were doing out of ignorance and everything yeah out of ignorance because i love yes. her you know, <laughs> out that. of ignorance yeah so on the other hand why were you keeping quiet someone that you also like because i believe that you don't like you, yeah, right that. someone that you like is hurting you why stupid like that but why act like nothing has been wrong and then you see this person the next day you're laughing with the person you are hugging the person you guys are acting fine the person is feeling like everything is done well yeah, then one day, when we don't fuck up one money, I'm like, you know what? I can't do it anymore. Ah, please, I'm, is that how we break? Even romantic relationships doesn't work like that. I think one of the reasons why people don't like to talk with me, avoid confrontational like issues. Conflict. They yes. just, they be like, ah, just let it go. Mm-hmm. And the rest, and they don't want to be in that situation where they are talking the they have past to conversation they, yeah. don't want to. they don't want that table talk yes yes yes, yes, yes that's yes, oh have that this is what you did to me and i always tell people that if you do if you want a relationship to last you have to have the hard conversation exactly, exactly. and you have to be you have to be willing to accept that you're wrong you're not always yes yeah, so i think one of the reasons why people do not like to talk about this is when they bring up their issue they are being shut down by the yeah. other party a lot they are being like their voices are being reduced and then you hear them say something like oh uh uh-uh, what did i do it's not that small thing mm-hmm. that's like mimicking your feelings yes. so a lot of time people will not want to communicate so that they don't get hurt so they are sort of protecting themselves yes. from getting hurt from evil i always say you should know your friend you should know who you call your friend exactly friendship but- right now goes beyond vibes and inshallah <laughs> to get you have to be intentional about what you're doing we are now in the age where we are having children we are becoming mothers getting married so whatever relationship you have now you are establishing a relationship for your, your children. children you are looking at the next 10 years you're building connections right now so you should not be doing your relationship with vibes and you should know your friend okay you guys should be able to say oh i don't like the fact that if i bring up something to you or i bring up an issue with you you shut me out you don't validate my mm-hmm. my feelings. I can't speak where you are. All those things are important. Those kind of conversations. You should be able to tell. Yeah. Those conversations is strengthen the friendship. Yes, they do. It's like you're building on a solid foundation. It's like you're building your relationship on a solid foundation. That way you can know that oh, I have tried to talk to this person. Yes, and it's not, and it's working. not working. You don't You're do that. Right. You do and do, my dear. Yes. Yeah. So if the person is sort of not pouring into you as much as you're pouring into them on a long base my sister you have to choose yourself first in that situation sure. i always believe that like if i used to, I used to hold on to people like ah oh, i don't think i'll ever find a friend like this person again but it's a lie there's some friends that are on replay in replaceable yeah you never find them again don't go on, swallow your pride and go on. Except if you are beg like this one, I don't beg, 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 she's no good. Yeah. I leave her now, when I keep myself, when she's not a, <laughs> she's not a, so I'll move on from there. Even Jesus Christ will give you. Exactly. So, do you understand? It's not like that, it's not your boyfriend or anything. I'm not that person. So, I just believe that as women, we should try to lighten the hair in relationship. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. I don't want, I don't want to step on her toes. 
Eh, hey, watch the tone now. How can somebody be your friend? Let family? me step on it so I know how you react. You get I mean, that's how romantic relationship works. So you want to see the other side of this person because, oh, you, you feel like this person you spend most of your life with. So how much more friendship? I want to see you when you're angry. I want to see how you talk to me. I want to see how you react when you're angry. So like, if someone come and meet me and say, ah, my friend did this, 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 this is a lie. My friend can, no, that's, I don't know, so my friend gets and in my phone she's pretending I'll call that pretense because I don't know your other yeah. side you know so I don't really think the person in full capacity yeah you haven't told us about your own friendship part. okay so for me I've had like different yes a lot so I just gave you guys more <laughs> I've had a lot and I'm not the kind of person that likes making friends so I believe that if I'm to call someone my friend you would have gone through the screening but like she said when she was in the world that's when this will happen me too when i was in the world <laughs> right we need to give them the friendship of heart or when we are now in christ yeah so, so when i was in the world i didn't really when i'm picking my friends vibes on vibes you get that for me i think the recent one was the one that happened during my wedding period uh i would say this someone i knew for a while in school so uh we've never had any issue like there is nothing we've never had any reason to quarrel or argue and everything and me in my mind i didn't even know that friendships you have to quarrel or do one or two things you have to know how strong or how strengthening your bond is as friends you know so in my mind she quarrels with every other person apart from me so in my mind i'm a good friend <laughs> My dear, I think this is that the cane they used to flush the first one. Ah, they're going to flush. They have kept it for you. So I think that the angel. If my mind, if my mind, I'm going to be nice. Oh, you understand? In my mind, that they give a good advice. As my friend, to clear the advice. So Grace, Grace gives the best advice. Everything was going on. Well. So if let me go tell you guys, when she's fighting with someone, as I will tell her to reconcile with that person because why are you fighting with this person? It's too long, you know. I don't know. So my time will come on. <laughs> it will go reconcile. <laughs> you are dishing it. Ah, my dear, you reach my place like this. I chop and wear. <laughs> so give us a chance. So uh, apparently, um, I feel during my wedding period, because I mean wedding tension and everything that it is just the yeah, app for wedding time so during my wedding period i was keeping this my friend that dated we'll talk or oh, i'll ask oh, what color do you you know as friends now i'm going to be giving you the info before anybody else so um i opened a group chat and in this group chat i added one or two people and i think um in the group chat uh, i think i already told my friend something else right like concerning the material or color or something like that so in the group chat now i said something else that i didn't tell her so she now came to the group chat to be all defensive and whatnot then i told her to not to be here like i beg not be here you go do this kind of thing <laughs> then the next thing i took it to her dms i'm like oh, okay if you have any issue what i said why not just tell me personally why why are you here in the group chat that is not just me and you and you know saying a lot of things that's how issues started you know so from there the friendship was just having key leg key leg i mean now i felt bad because i'm like oh maybe i didn't really communicate to this person well maybe it's my fault that i she i talk a year go talk b year maybe i'm that person so I kept reaching out to this friend, oh, hi, how you doing? As for my wedding version is on, at least I feel like if you're my friend, you should be calling, yeah, like, you should even call me now to check up on me to know how, how many person have you drank today? I <laughs> the day you, you know, that kind of thing. So, nothing, nothing. I really want to call, to check up, I, I even apologized. I even started asking people, Shay, what I did, is it bad? They were asking me, oh, have you apologized? I was saying, yes, I will try to reach out to this person and, you know, to know positive and well. Yeah. So, all well and good, my brother Shao came. She was supposed to be a part, but wasn't a part because I feel like it was because of the issue we had. So, I just let it go. I didn't want that to actually bother me because it's my day. I mean it. Tell about you, girl. Yeah. So, after that, I just had to let the whole thing they knew for a while. Then later on, I tried to still reach out to this person to know if, because I was confused. 
Why are we fighting? Yeah. You know, for someone that I never used to have issues with, what is going on? Is, it more, is there more to it than this? Mm. Or is it just this? You know? So, no, nothing positive came out still. So I beg, I just look up oh, honestly. I'm like, you know what? Even relationship with my kids like this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My dear, even if my boyfriend, your boyfriend will tell you, oh, babe, you did this, you did that, you did that. And you guys, even if you don't agree, you just come to agree terms. To disagree. You can disagree to agree. You understand? You can just come to terms just so that peace will reign in your, in your yeah. relationship. You know, but that was never the case. So I just had to look on a very, friendship is not, like she said, it's not do or die. You know? So, I mean, that was when I was not really in Christ so much, but, now in Christ, I got to realize that when picking friends, there are so many things to look out for. For me, working hand in hand with the Holy Spirit in my, my friends of choice mm-hmm. has helped me mm-hmm. a lot. Okay. I don't, I don't just jump into relationships. Mm-hmm. I, I create a room of acceptance. Mm-hmm. You come in, I just keep you on a long road. Oh, just watch you. I try you. I try. Like, I always tell my friends this thing. Like I think I have one of my friends. Yeah, she know I told this. That I always test my friends. Mm-hmm. I test them not by putting test in a trap. No, I test your spirits. Mm-hmm. I ch- I pray to the Holy Spirit and I ask the Spirit to begin to reveal this are. person, the intent of this person to you me. We talk about always revealing your romantic relationship. Yes. Yeah. Exactly, because you don't want to be with someone that will come and will come as a Christian but lure you back to the world. Yes, lure you back into the world by hurting you and then you know making you hate church. Yes, because many people now because of church hurts. If you think about church, church hurts, hurts. Also people, people hurt people. Yes, but they will not say this church, church hurts, hurts and yes. not go to church anymore. No, see disclaimer. No amount of what anybody can hurt me mm-hmm. that will take yes. me away from my father. Amen. Because you can even love me the way he loves me. So and we are all sick. Exactly. So it's by the Holy Ghost that we are getting treatment. So if one person behaves somehow, I just shake you to one corner and forge your head ahead. It's a it's a one personal man. race. It's a one man's called race. Yeah, so we fight our back to personal. Do you understand? <laughs> so it's just basically intentionally praying because God will send people to you. And when he said people, there's something you have to do in that person's life. And there's something the person has to do in your life. I intentionally was praying about friends. Mm-hmm. It was a prayer point for me. I was like, God, I want genuine friendship. I want people that will love me. Because your friends impact your life so much. As much as your partner who you choose to marry. It's a very important part of your life. So a lot of times I was praying. So when God started to send people my way, people that were there were some that were not even good at we're not supposed to be friends. Like I remember there was a particular girl that was trying to talk to me, she would talk to me and the rest. And then she was like, No, this person is not supposed to be a friend. Don't bring her too close. And she's a godly person. She prays for her tongue, she's even invited me for one praying, something like that, and the rest. But the truth is, over time, I didn't really listen like that, Sha. I was like, ah, she's not bad now, she's not bad. So let me just see what's inside mm-hmm. right there. Let me see. I said, I thought it's a relationship like this. She had come out. <laughs> you never really six months there. You never really that four months there. Very few minutes. Because the friendship was built on aesthetic. Mm-hmm. Yes, as far. There's a, there's a Christian aesthetic. She prays with tongues. She's, you get, she's fire. I want to be friends with her because it looks like, oh yeah, they are here to that. But you don't know that. Can this person yeah. handle your person? Can, can this person yeah. handle the God factor of you? Like the person, because a lot of people will come to you and they are intimidated by the Godness inside mm-hmm. of you. So can they handle the glory of God in you? Like, are they helping you grow even more? Yeah. Or are they dimming your lights in Christ? Yes. And I'm talking about, you know, the way people will view you from outside, the way they get to see you, they cannot see you down. They cannot mm-hmm. downside you. I'm like, oh, there's nothing more to you. Yeah. That's exactly what was happening with this person. From afar, I had more respect from her from when we were yeah. not friends and when she came. So when she came, it was like contempt came into competition. Yeah. She now wants to, like, every once she wanted something, she was like, I want the one that is on, like, this particular one that you have, that's what I want. And that particular one 
was like, you cannot have what I have. Like, why do you want what right. I have? Like, I, I was vocal about it. So it's just basically knowing that friendship is important. Friendship wants to happen, but how do you handle your work? How do you heal from it? That's true, true. So it just depends. Like for me, if, if I remember when a friend of me, like this, is my friend that hurt me, and then God was like, I have to, I have to heal from it. That I cannot be pushing her back. Mm, you can't. I cannot. And it's not easy for someone to want to. You want, you want the person in life to go like so that you know that yes, you met with that not dead woman. For this person, the prayer I prayed for I that I prayed like this. I prayed, I poured out a heart of prayer, and I didn't know that I was pouring out my pain to God. I didn't know that I was shaming them because the devil wants to use contempt in my heart against this person. So when I see this person progress, like when she had that milestone in her life, I was happy. When I saw that I was happy in my heart, I knew that it was genuine, it was genuine and I'd let go of forgiving this person. We give grace to our partners, to our, mm, our main true, relationship. True, 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 so if true, a genuine true, friend true, have offended true, you, you should give grace to that person true, and true. try to walk your way. And try it, to it forget, forget walk. forgive and forget what's you happened might, in the past. It might not even be able to forget yet. Yeah. But it might take it will take work, not my it will take hard work. Intentionally, yeah, the two of you working to I maybe know. maybe there's an issue of life. You now have to reassure that person. You have to be more transparent to that person to be able to mend that relationship, and it might mm-hmm. even be better than awesome. what you guys had in exactly. the past. Exactly. So right now, um, we spoke about our French parents here, yeah, and how we're able to come out of it. Like you said, when when your friend hurts you, you have to pray for her. Yeah. I feel like for me, even before I knew Christ. I had this serious thought that I was so pain. Whenever I hear this person's name, my heart is just pain. <sighs> you know, so and it happens for me well. Then in Christ, I now realize that this is bad. You know, like this thing is not good. Yes, you know, you so man. whenever I pray, I will mention this person as the oh God, help me forgive this person. I want I don't want to think of this person and be angry. I don't want to think of this person and have this feeling boiling on my heart. You know, uh, yes, I don't want to see this person keep you and I'm angry. They're like, why? I want to just jump right. <laughs> you know, so with time I got to realize that I felt nothing. Yeah. I see this person, oh hi. I look at this person's picture. I feel if I don't like the picture, I don't go like him. I go pass. If I like him, I go like him. You get so there was really nothing on my inside that is capturing or holding space and was still like ah, I will not let you go. You know, so I had to just let go and prayer works. Prayer, prayer will actually help you. Yeah. Feel. You know, it's actually help you. It's like building bricks upon bricks yes. upon bricks upon yeah, bricks. Exactly. Until before you know it, you are building the story. Yeah. And then you know how that feel that pain. Or that strong resentment mm-hmm. against that person. Against that person. So when you yeah. see that person, the person just like there's no feeling. There's nothing, you know. I don't hate you. At the same time, I love you, but from you know, one of the prayers I pray for this particular I say, God, please let that person become a stranger to me. Mm-hmm. As I know, when you say stranger, you don't have any. You don't have any feeling. So I would like. I don't want to have any feeling for this person. The way I would love a stranger, I'm kind to a stranger. That's how I want to be towards this person. No hard feelings, no expectations, nothing. Mm-hmm. I know you will be happy, kind of bored, and I see you and walk past. It means there's something. Sure. I should want to see you. Hi, hello, and move fast because of familiarity. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so it's for me. I feel like taking your relationship intentional, now, praying about friendship, building the right friendship, picking out the right friendship, having the right values, yes. knowing what you are looking for in a friend. Exactly. Not just vibes on vibes. Not not for aesthetics. Because now people are looking for aesthetics. So do you know, it's something that I even do. Eh? I try to. Be offline with my friends mm, to see them offline. Yes, yeah. always. Like for offline, you know, when we are out, we are bringing up our phones and we're taking pictures. Mm-hmm. I try to enjoy my the friends moment. Yeah. away from the camera. Yeah. I try to salvage the relationship. It's like that that I might be with my friend and I will not even remember to take pictures because I like to take pictures on memory stick. Mm. Because now we live online living here. Yes, we want to make yeah. real and it's. Kills relationship. Yeah, it kills relationship because 
when you're there, you're coming and conscious. For me right now, now that I'm in Christ, picking a friend or calling someone my friend means that I can entrust you with a lot of things. Yeah. And I thought to also say the beauty in having friends that pray with you, friends that pray for you. She did. That is amazing. She understands. Because you might just be this you might be in the shower where you can open your mouth and pray. My dear. You can just call so a so person, please help me. Pray you don't have to say help me. From the tone of your voice, I was wrong. Ah, the Lord will strengthen. The prayers on the hand enter already. The Lord will strengthen you. Yeah, the yeah. Lord will do this, do that. that. That has really, really, really become a core value for me yeah. when it comes to picking friends. Then uh, friends that actually have something going on. Because I got to realize then that for people that have something going on, they tend to not look at you. They look at you but I have my goals. You have your goals. So I'm not focused on your own goals, you know, because I have what I'm focusing on. Like I'm I, driving my car with my eyes on my wheel screen. I'm not looking at the eyes. I'm not trying to, to compare myself to you. I'm not trying mm. to run your race. I already have my hands tied to something. I'm mm-hmm. so busy to now start I, what are you even doing? I want to be like you. I want so if I like something she's doing ah like business man, like I said I will take business ideas. I thought this might I'm trying to do this because I already have something on ground. So I want her to now add to it. Not that I didn't want to have anything. So it's the one that she's doing that I now want to have yeah, yeah. just yeah. because we are friends and I must be like my friend. No. So I feel like when you have something on ground, it doesn't create so much of competition. Like there's no competition. You're cheating your dreams. You understand? Oh, you have you have financial because I like how you handle your finances. Come and teach me how to handle mine. Oh, because I have a business going on. I have something going on. I'm trying to manage the finances. So right now, I just want to talk about how to heal from friendship cards. How we healed. Uh, for me, prayer helped me. I won't lie. Prayer helped me, and in my time of isolation. Because time of isolation is a real thing. God is literally walking on you. Yeah. God is refining you. God is changing you. God is it's opening crazy. your eyes to see. I would say I, I started going to church more. I started trying to take in godly things. You know, I started listening to godly podcasts. Trying to set my mind right. Because yeah, the, the right exactly. Because the wrong mindset too. Also leads to all these things, yeah. you know, the wrong expectations leads to all these things. So I started trying to like position myself rightly, you know, and then I prayed to have God be friends. Because if my day to the prayer point, because you can never be a new forever. You're secure. Like for me, why I'm more important about God be friends, I always tell my friends this thing. I'm secure in you because I trust where your heart is mm. submitted to. I know that I can speak to God and He will speak to you and you will listen. So it gives me peace in my heart. I'm not worried or afraid that it will hurt me because I know that when something happens, you will not be intentional. Yes. And I can talk to God and He will talk to you. And when you talk about it, yes, yes this there form is this of, form of. We are not trying to for peace. Yes. So one of the ways I heal from friendship was is acknowledging what I have done wrong and what I could have done correctly and what the other person had done wrong to me and I forgive myself first. Yes, forgiving yourself. Yes. Yes. I forgive myself because I have to know that it's no one, it's not my fault. <laughs> Because sometimes I beat myself up, I'm like, I should have known better, I should have known better. So I give myself grace. I forgive myself knowing that Nengi is not your fault. You don't have it all in your hands. You're not perfect. You're not perfect. So you could never have known that this would turn out the way it did. And if you knew it would be like this, you would have done different. So be kind to yourself. I am kind to myself. I don't beat myself up. And then I forgive the other person. And I forgive from a point of, if they know better, they will do better. Then I go for the, for that to pray for my heart. So continue, like constantly pray for my heart because I know that this person has hurt me. And by right, there was only Pastor Mildred said she said that when she understands that when people offend her because we have like sort of similar, she was also a very violent physical person. So this person did us as well. So when people hurt her, she got to understand that God is a God of recompense. He will compensate the offended. Mm-hmm. So but when you now begin to build up strife, you now become an, an offender. Yeah. So God will punish you and punish the other person. Yeah. So to be on a cliff 
sweat with God is to know that this person has offended me. So it's time for me to get rewarded from God. God will, he will compensate me. And when God is compensating you for the offense of somebody else, he's not giving you, he's, he's giving you in multiplication fold. So whenever I am hurt, I'm like, I don't have that mental position of, it's time to get compensated. So I go to God and I'm like, ah, God, see what has happened to yeah. This is what has happened to This is what I did to I almost myself to in the situation. Yes, but I don't able even to even talk to God like a friend. Yeah. No, because now in Christ, we see God as our, in fact, we know God as our father. I mean to say all that to him and just pour out my heart to him and tell him, but honestly speaking, I'm not happy about what I did. I'm sorry about what I did, but I'm also not happy about what the other person did. And I want compensation. I demand for compensation. I ask for it. And most times it doesn't come immediately, but because I know that I pray to a father that hears me. So when I say it, I leave it there and I go. From your past experiences, what mm-hmm. has God used to compensate you? So that if people that actually Okay, so for me, I think there was a part of my life where I had a friend, a particular friend that I felt like was was so tired, like so stuck together, like somebody that would pray with me, somebody that I trusted. Like this girl loves I love my mother. This girl loves my mother. Together. So it was like I, I was safe with her. But when she did something that she did and it got me so heartbroken, it also broke my mother's heart and the rest. And I prayed, I was like, ah, why did this have to happen like this and the rest? God compensated me with somebody else. Oh, okay. Together. I got another friend mm. that was kind as a when I mean at some point I was even afraid I'm like, Are you real? Are you real? <laughs> like, yeah, so kind. Well, well, like, 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 One, I know that God compensated me, and another way that I know that God has compensated me is I receive peace. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, I receive yes. peace in my heart. Whenever people hurt you, leave a window. Don't just shut yeah. the door. Don't shut the door at the people. It's not healthy. It's yes. not because you don't even know what to grow might be like. You might need that door. When yes. You, know you might need it. So and it's not be hard for you because because pride will not enter inside. So I think that that's all for this video, right? Yes, that's all. That's all. Except for my brain. <laughs> <laughs> that's all guys, that's all. Thank you guys so much for staying tuned to this time. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let's know in the comment section if you've actually had an experience when it comes to friendship cards, if you're dealing with it well, and if this video was actually helpful. Do like and subscribe guys. See you guys. Bye. See you next time.